Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today we're doing just a hand video. Yes, we are doing my March Shop My Stash. And I apologize, usually I film a little intro and outro with, you know, my face and everything, but it's uh, it's been a week. It's actually been a week and a half to two weeks of just nonsense. I will be definitely posting a get ready with me here pretty soon, kind of talking about everything that's been going on with me, but let's go ahead and shop my stash for March. So let's first talk about the things that are already in here from February and what I am removing. As usual, I'm not removing a ton of stuff because I have so many things that are in projects, but for example, this primer right here, this is the Laure from Guerlain. I used that in February. I used this Becca Skin Love Mist. I used that in February. I also used this ColourPop All Star. This, not a fan of the sprayer. I think the solution inside of it was just fine, but I guess I've just been really spoiled by very lovely fine mist. This comes out like a like a hose, so that I was not super fond of. I did get a fair amount of use out of my Huda Beauty foundation stick. I really like this a lot. I think I'm going to keep this in here. This is from Auric Beauty. This is their Glow Lust in Morganite. So this, oh, I know I shouldn't keep it in here because I'm currently panning a liquid illuminator, but I cannot get enough of this stuff, so it's going to stay. I am going to pull out my Uma Beauty foundation. This is what I typically film in. I can always pull it out for filming specifically. Everything in this little category is going to stay the same. This is primarily eye primers. It also has um, this Super Shock Shadow that I'm currently panning. I did, for February, pull in my very favorite Becca highlighter of all times. It is the Lilac Geode. You guys have seen this so many times. I stinking love this. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. I also had this from Kiko Milano. This is the blush in First Sunrise. I absolutely adore this. It is so, so pretty. I'm currently panning this in a project. Currently in a project. This Stay Matte um, Powder. Go ahead and pull that out. It was pulled in for February as well. Currently panning this baby right here. This one, actually I'm panning all of this stuff. So I will leave it all alone and move these back here for the moment. Just to get them out of the way. Everything over here stays. These are all of the lip products that I'm currently working on in my Trash or Treasure project. This madness here is all mascaras, eyeliners, um, brow products, all that kind of stuff. So this all is going to stay. And I really gave some thought to what I wanted to do for my March Shop My Stash. And I have to say, I am so saddened by the news that Becca Cosmetics is going to be um, closing down their brand as of September. I'm actually really kind of heartbroken about it. So I think that in March, I'm going to dedicate the month to using as many of my Becca products as I can. So let's go ahead and jump in and pull out some primer. All right, so this here is my primer drawer. It lives in a different set of drawers, so it's just sometimes easier to pull it out. So I have a lot in here, but I think what I'm gonna pull out is this little deluxe sample size of the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Such a stunning, stunning product. So I am gonna go ahead and pull that out. Um, and then I think I do want one other sort of hydrating primer as well, just because I do like to kind of change it up a little bit from time to time. So I think I'll go with my First Aid Beauty. This is the Coconut Smoothing Primer. So I'll pull that out as well. Okay, so this drawer right here is foundations, powders, and concealers. So I will go ahead and start by pulling out my Becca Skin Love 
foundation. I have the shade Linen, so we'll go ahead and we will use that. I am also going to pull out a tinted moisturizer. I think I'll go ahead and go with this one right here from Winky Lux. I don't have any Becca concealers, so let me just go ahead and pull out use this one here from Clinique. And then for powders, I have two Becca powders. I think though the one that I want to go with is this one right here. This is, I've had it for a while now, this is the Soft Light Blurring Powder in Golden Hour. So I will pull that out as well. All right, here in this drawer we have blush, bronzer, and highlighters. However, I think what I want to do is I want to pull in this face palette right here. Try not to blind the daylights out of you. Oh, that was me. Um, this is the face palette that they released a few years ago for the holidays. So I'll go ahead and pull that in. Mine has not gotten nearly enough love, but it is a really beautiful product. Because the blush in here though is a bit on the aggressive side, I do, oh wait, no, I've got the two that I'm, are the two that I'm panning or the three that I'm, whatever I'm working on in my projects. Well, yeah, it is actually three blushes because <laughs> I'm a crazy person. Um, so yeah, that should be perfectly fine there and it has a variety of highlighters so that should be perfectly fine as well. However, I do kind of want to pull in Prosecco Pop because it needs more love as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get all of this into the drawers. All right, so we have everything loaded back into the drawer and because this is my sort of Ode to Becca month. I'm going to go ahead and keep the Becca Skin Love mist in this drawer as well. And then I am going to work on it for the rest of the month also. I know this was a little bit of a shorter Shop My Stash just because, I mean, let's be honest, they are all kind of shorter because I project pan so much. But it is still nice to be able to change it up, work through some other products that I have. Let me know, how do you feel about Becca's announcement and what are some of the products that you are wanting to focus on for the month of March? Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you are having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.